Hey there YouTube, I'm Yukitsu, this is Yukitsu Times, welcome to my channel, welcome back to, uh, whatever the hell this is, uh, War Game, Red Dragon, and more of the, um, uh, I can't remember the name of this mission, though. It, it's, it's a long mission. Anyway, uh, we're, what I've decided to do in the end is I've decided to retreat our units back from new territories down to Swen Wan, uh, and what we're gonna hopefully do is draw all of these forces in there, which, uh, the AI is gonna definitely do, and then we're gonna pinch them off with a counterattack uh, from either whatever we want to send there. So let's uh, double check actually. I didn't really actually check to see what units they do this with. I'm not even... Yeah, so they've now got a foothold in Sven Wan, um, and what we're going to have to do is try and pinch them off from behind, and that will let us uh, sort of really stick it to them as it were. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our uh, Harrier multi-role squad head down here. And we're going to send in our RF Strike Squad over to New Territories. And we'll also send in this Bomber Group over to Swen 1. And this gives us a lot of uh, fighting power in that area. Uh, we can take the Gurkha Regiment and send it to New Territories. And what this does is it gives us uh, Recon and it gives us a uh, good ability to sort of see what's going on there. Now they've only got these battered tank regiments over here so uh, we do have to send in a little bit more to reinforce over here. But for now what we're going to do is grab our land forces, Prince Princess Patricia's um, Light Infantry. So uh, if you're a Canadian you refer to them as Princess Pats but you know that's besides the point. We're going to send these guys in to uh, reinforce that Suen Wan. Now, the Princess Pats are, are a Canadian regiment, obviously, so I quite like the guys, but that's neither here nor there. They've got uh, these 66mm heat rockets, a uh, little bit better range fire call than what the... Uh, where the hell are those other guys? Heavy tank battalion. Where the hell are my infantry groups? Hmm. This is disconcerting and uh, awful. Okay. Hong Kong, yeah, so the uh, Territorials are using the M72 Law, which only has 525 range. The Princess Pats are using these uh, 875 range 66mm heat rockets, the M72A4, which is a much, much better weapon. So, you know, that that's uh, to our advantage. They have got these Pioneers, which are a flamethrower unit. That's pretty much useless in this situation, unfortunately. But uh, they're also using sort of blowpipes, which are pretty bad. But, uh, you know, like, they've got some pretty good stuff here that's going to help us out here. The Canadian Rifles, in particular, are a very versatile unit against tanks. Um, so they should help us hold out quite a bit here. Uh, I want to check the situation in Swan Wan. I don't think the Canadian Rifles are going to help out quite yet. Actually, okay, so well, this, I, I clicked the wrong button, so now we're looking at the anti-tank situation here. Now, as you can see, uh, our opponent can't really fight back against us. Like, uh, what they're probably going to do is run away, I'm guessing. Yep, there we go. So that frees up uh, our forces. We could actually even send in the Gurkhas from behind here. But uh, what we're going to try and do is we're going to send in our gunship convoy here to assist versus all these damn tanks. Because once again, too many goddamn tanks. Just too many of them. Um, anyway, uh, once we've destroyed them, we should be in a better position overall. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to really sort of uh, beat these guys. I'm trying to figure out if we want to send even a little bit more... No. Uh, what I'm going to do is R&R up &R all of these squads that are over here so that uh, we've got more morale. This is our morale sort of flagging in a lot of places. Um, there we go. So now we've got a little bit more morale in some of these units. And uh, we can do the same over here. We can R&R &R the Gurkhas. Can't with the RAFs for Strike Squad. Uh, since, yeah, we're going to keep them there. I just have to check here now. Uh, these guys have got these tank battalions, blah, blah, blah. That's sort of nice. But what we can do is if they decide to attack us in new territories, we can retreat back into the Suan Wan area again, try and drive them into that pocket and destroy them again. So that's going to be our strategy here. Uh, so let's check out what's going on here in Suan Wan. Uh, we aren't going to get access to the Canadians, I don't think. Oh, yeah, we do. Perfect. So uh, we've got a fairly large force here. We're up against a lot of tanks again, though which is very, very unfortunate. Uh, we're going to launch battle. What we're going to try and do here is just sort of um, hold in uh, North District and just kind of, like, ignore them otherwise. We're going to generate points in, like, Echo and Gulf, but we're mostly going to try and defend in uh, North District. We'll actually also have to defend in Echo, but that gives us a four-point generation uh, area behind us. So hopefully what we'll have is enough uh, troops all in all to fend off a line that will draw down from here and what we're going to try and go for is a victory point victory 
we're not going to be able to go for or anything like fancy or anything like that. But uh, we got a lot of good infantry that we can now choose from, including these uh, Canadian rifles. Very good infantry for the situation. We've also got plenty of territorials, very cheap units. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have the uh, territorials be our sort of forward uh, force down here and what they're going to be able to do is sort of uh, take out anything that comes near those woods hopefully. Um, the problem of course is that they won't be able to attack anything that's going up along this northern road but what we're going to do is we're going to have another set of defenders in this uh, sort of area near this hill and uh, in this woods here so what we're gonna have here is a little bit better uh, trained troops and these guys will be able to hit further away uh, Canadian rifles are just a little bit better okay so we can also have blowpipe uh, these guys same thing as the other one so not particularly good uh, what we're actually going to want is these uh, tracked rapiers uh, the problem is we don't want them too far forward what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna put them back here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hope that our opponent when they're trying to do bombing runs on our uh, Saracens or whatever here overshoot and uh, end up getting blown apart so we're gonna put our tracked rapiers back here in fairly uh, two of them should be enough and then we can also put uh, two of these tracked rapier without the FSA so they're a little bit cheaper two of them two of those as well there okay so what have we got so far what uh, we've got our command vehicle which we're gonna completely just sort of put way the hell back there but we've also got this uh, free FOB, which is a field operational base or something like that, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we can put it down somewhere. Uh, well, it looks like we'll have to put it down here, which is not exactly where I want to be putting it, but it is where we're going to be putting it. And what this is going to do is it's going to be a huge supply uh, resupply area. So uh, these things provide like 16,000 liters compared to the stalwart, which is 800 liters. So these things a lot more, like uh, 20 times more. So quite effective for that. Uh, we're going to put another command vehicle way the hell back here. Hopefully we'll be able to defend around the city here. Now because of what we've got here, I'm going to put down another field. Actually no, we, we can't afford to lose one of those right now. Well, yeah, we can. Yeah, so we'll put one of these down here as well. Um, we'll put it sort of in the back behind this village, I think, maybe. No, it's hard to put these down because you need to sort of have them somewhere protected. Um, but it's, it, they're pretty big. They're pretty damned big, so uh, it's pretty hard. So we're going to get um, our Canadian rifles down here, and they're going to set up uh, a defensive position. We're going to meat shield them up front with a couple of the uh, territorials. And uh, those guys are just going to basically be the first line of getting hit by shit. And hopefully what will happen is we'll be able to uh, take out any tanks with the Harriers. There we go. And we'll get a couple air defenses down here as well. We'll try and bring down more later, but uh, for now, this will have to do. Okay, so we'll have that back there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to rush down helicopters to Echo, and uh, they'll be used to help out here. So we're going to reduce our speed down to slow again, uh, just because I'm a wuss, mostly. Okay, so let's get our Canadian rifle Grizzlies. Get them away from here. Awaiting new orders, sir. Grizzly I quite like, actually. Get the Saracens back here. And we're just going to run away with our transports because, again, they're like really quite vulnerable. Um, don't want them fighting anything. So, we're going to try and bring down more things to the uh, south here. Uh, there's only four of those guys left, so we'll bring the Canadian blowpipes. Actually, no, there's only four of them, too. So we'll bring the javelins, I guess. And uh, we'll send them down to here. That ought to be relatively safe. I hope. But, uh, you can't hope too much. Okay, so let's spread out these territorials a little bit. Let's get ready to try and get a helicopter. Get these, uh, these guys here. You guys get nice houses. Safe as houses. Okay. Hopefully these Saxons will make it around down south before our friendly enemy decides to come along and destroy them. But, uh... Oh, hey. 
Hello, hello. Okay, that's not really good. I wonder where they drop those bombs. We did get three of them, though. That's really good. They didn't drop their bombs yet, I don't think. I don't think they managed to drop their bombs. That's really good. Okay, so we got four of them. I think they have eight, though, so... Can't celebrate too much yet. Let's get this helicopter down south where it can uh, sort of help out there. Okay, we can afford the other one now. Gonna get that, too. Okay, so, uh, yeah, if we, if we can take out all their air, like, it's just gonna be so good for us. Okay, we got some uh, incoming here, so we're gonna take these guys out if we can. These guys are evacing before they can get in there. Okay, so I think that they've got, like, four planes, uh, which is quite a lot. We can get more Harriers. Um, let's go ahead and do one more now. Fueling back up nicely. Let's try and get these guys over here. If they send in the air to try and take out my helicopter, that's going to be really good for us because uh, that'll definitely be in range of our rockets. Guys okay, don't need to... Okay, let's get this uh, Lynx firing at these guys. Okay, so our cheap infantry is soaking up some hits for us. So that's good. Let's start tanking these guys. Or planing these guys. They're coming from the north too now. What the hell is that whistling? They're hitting our Harrier here. We need to evac it. Okay, let's get some more air. Okay, let's get this guy with the tow out of here. So we are pretty much out of ammunition. Someone need a guardian angel? Okay. Hoping these Canadian rifles will do good things for us. It always comes down to the infantryman and his wife. These guys are out of line of sight. That's good. That's good for us. Okay, you need to land. Vehicle, helicopter, sorry. Let's get the Lynx 3. Yeah, so those Canadians are just tearing those guys apart. Okay, so... Terriers need to evac, it looks like. more Harriers in here. Can afford more Harriers, I think, too. Okay, these guys are too far away from the FOB to take advantage of it. That really sucks. Okay, so once we... If we can get these guys to the FOB, uh, we'll be able to resupply, but... Looks like I'm gonna have to work for it. Okay, let's get this helicopter over there too. Okay. Oops, these guys are gonna load. Let's get the Saxons out of here. Canadians have done a nice job here. Well, 
Just about out of rockets on that guy. Um, okay, we need to get some. Let's get some tanks in here. These Canadian rifles can start resupplying, that would be fan fucking tastic. It's not happening though. Okay, let's get the Hellfire rockets over here. Okay, so our guys down here held out really nicely. Looks like Scorpion with light tanks. These guys stopped so that they're... Uh-oh. Okay, our Scorpion light tanks are going to get bombing runs, but, uh, you know. Did the ladies' guys a little bit, at least. Yeah, that's our Scorpion light tanks. Okay, well, Territorials still have their heat, so... Let's try and get them in there. Nope, that's cargo, that's cargo. Let's uh, not take out the cargo. Okay. Scorpion light tank also got annihilated. Let's see if we can get a hellfire on this guy. Perfect. That, us, that gets us the supplies. Alright. Well, oh, territorials, do your thing. You guys, too. You guys, also. Everybody. Canadians, make Canada proud of your dirty, scummy tactics. Canadians fight dirty. Like, uh, historically, we did not have any military traditions or anything that would make us fight like good, decent human beings. So, you know, we just sort of winged it. That's basically how I would define Canadian style of fighting. Okay, so I think we lost one of our helicopters, which means I think we're out of those helicopters. You need to get back here. Is there a helicopter in mixed in with you? No, there isn't. Fortunately, these territorials are managing to clean up that ZTZ. We're sending in scout ships over here. Uh, what the hell? Zzzz. Sort of setting up like right side. Oh no, we won. Okay. And that's a total victory, and as you can see, they've lost a tank regiment, a heavy tank battalion, and a light tank battalion. So they have lost. We just destroyed 50 tanks there. We destroyed 44 recon. Actually, no, we destroyed 88 tanks, uh, which is really, really good. So here you can see, like, yeah, that is just so going to help us out a ton. Uh, so what we're going to do, if they attack us again, we're going to, like, retreat back with the Gurkhas, and uh, all we did was cut off their line of retreat with those units, so... That was not really there to uh, destroy an army. It was just to cut off their line of retreat. So now that we've done that successfully, uh, things are going to go pretty okay for us. We're going to move our naval units over to uh, this naval sector, Mike. And what we're going to do there is we're going to potentially be able to lock down and destroy this marine regiment while they're at sea. Um, or Because they're sort of uh, pinched in or they're going to have to move into Yantian. So anyway, that worked out well for us. We can't attack this turn because our HMS illustrious escort uh, I don't think is going to be part of this fight if we do. As you can see, um, yeah, we're only looking at three Type 21s and then the Fremantle, so that means that we're not getting our big ships in there, so we're going to avoid the battle for now. Now, on the other hand, these guys don't have their big ships necessarily. They have got some big ships, actually, now that I think about it. They've got the uh, Ludas, which are m much, much above the weight class of the fleet that I've got here, so... Uh, we're going to have to hit end turn yet again. What we're going to do is keep trying to draw people into the pocket at Suan Wan. Um, use that to cycle through our troops over and over again. Now, the troops that are in Suan Wan, I think, I think we can use Suan Wan as a base. No, we can't. We can't refit there. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're just going to hold out there as best we can. We'll, we'll cycle back units down to Cologne, um, if necessary, or back to Lantau. But... Yeah, we're, we're doing okay right now, so let's hit and turn and see what the enemy does. Presence of two raids to move Chinese helicopter regiments and as many marines, so... We think they're preparing for a double landing on our coast, likely destination Lantau and Sai Kung. 
Okay, well, we can sort of, uh... Anti-ship tornadoes is rage to support your ships in this fight. So what we can do, though, is uh, we can move the fleet from Naval Sector Delta, since we have been moving these guys there. Uh, and we can move these guys into Naval Sector Ecto, Echo. Uh, and potentially, like, uh, that now prevents these guys from advancing forward through our lines. So that's a good thing. Um, we can move these guys back to Suen Wan again. And that is perfectly fine. And yeah, if we can capture another set of their units in this pocket, uh, that will destroy that independent tank battalion, this tank regiment. So, like, this is going to be sort of our strategy here. Uh, we are going to have to probably move some units or recruit some units in Lantau. So, uh, let's see what we've got access to here. Land forces. They're recommending actually um, anti-naval stuff, but... Let's see here. Yeah, that's that Marine Regiment there. I'm looking at. I'm gonna look at the Anzac forces I can get. Land Arm, Anzac Armored Regiment is too expensive right now. It gives us 44 tanks, but uh, I don't really feel like saving up for that, especially because they'll get like they're kind of irrelevant if I can keep up my pressure in encircling these guys and destroying them piecemeal around North District. Which reminds me, I need to move a few things back up to North District. So let's move the. Gurkha's back up there and have them ready to move back down uh, since they can be sort of as that mobile move around in circles sort of thing. Um, but yeah, we need to sort of consider what we're going to be using for our, uh, what we want to use to try and take out these guys. It looks like I should actually be getting naval forces. Uh, tor tornado Naval Squadron looks like a good idea. Um, and if I, if I can, I could use them in Naval Sector Mike this turn rebase them later um, or maybe I wonder if I could reach both sets from uh, from Cologne let's try that I can always save scum if I can't so okay so you guys tornado naval squadron these guys I, I've seen them okay I can reach there and I can reach there okay so yeah so what I can do is I can send these guys to naval sector Mike this turn and uh, what this does is it gives me a huge advantage in trouncing this Marine Regiment over here. Um, now, Naval Sector Lima, I'm wondering if they're going to move in to attack my fleet after this, but that doesn't really matter all too much, so we're going to not worry about that for now. The Multi-Roll Squad will send in to uh, Tsuan Huan. Doesn't really matter, they're not likely to attack right away. Um, and send in our RAF. Actually, our RAF strike squad kind of needs to R and R, but morale's only two. Well, let's send it to on one as well. Yeah, that should be fine. Then we can send these guys over to Naval Sector Echo. It's a shame we can't fight there because, like, the, the being able to take out those helicopters would be quite nice. Uh, let's see here. We can also afford the FAA uh, fighter squad, the Sea Harriers. Uh, those are air-to-air. -air. We don't really need air-to-air -air that badly as long as we can keep taking them out in these land engagements, but uh, they are getting pricey those land engagements. So what we can do is look at our land forces again. Canadians have an anti-tank battalion. Um, that's actually a really good anti-tank battalion. It's a shame that I destroyed so many of their tanks. Um, they've got the light horse battalion. They've got the uh, Anzac Artillery co Company. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and send... Crap, we can't send the Anzac over there. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, this is really weird. It's a thing that's a missile that's really good against everything, so... Maybe we'll try and use that to our advantage. Um, we need to send something to here, though, basically, because they are trying to get troops over to there. Uh, so we'll send that, and we'll send a light tank battalion? No, we want to send... Hmm. Who do we want to send here? Land forces, Anzac. Well, the thing is, if we send in Anzac, or if we send in our Canadians back there, uh, what we can do is we can reinforce with Anzac next turn to Tsuan Wan, and potentially swing troops back from the North District, but... For now, let's check out Naval Sector Mike. 
And what we've got is uh, seven Type 21s, which are a medium ship. They're about a little bit worse than the Luda. They're way better than the Moskets, it looks like. So uh, what we're going to have to try and do, though, is just mass up our Oliver Hazard Perrys. Once we get a good mass of them going, we can also start adding in the Pegasus. Oh, wow. Actually, wait. Pegasus... Pegasus has, like, twice the range as these guys with their... Um, with their missiles. Hmm. And the Fremantle here, what have you got? You're, you're kind of crap. Okay, so... The Pegasus is actually really good. Um, the Tornadoes... Like, the thing about the Tornadoes is that they will basically demolish all the enemy ships. But uh, the air-to-air, -air, or the anti-air defense is not terrible on these sort of ships. It's like 2,800 range. It's enough that it can cause some real problems for us if, they, if we uh, get too close. But let's go ahead and hit uh, start there. Alright, so they've moved into the naval sector of Sierra. Let's try and follow them in here. And we can't move with the uh, torpedo ships anymore. But uh, Now the problem here is obviously if we hit uh, start... We've got an inability to use our big ship, so we're going to have to cancel that. So that was sort of predictable, but it, uh, it's not too bad. So Okay, so anti-tank battalion, uh, battalion will r and &R. That will get our morale up, I think. Or I don't actually know what r and &R does. I thought it increased morale, but... Anyway, uh, let's hit end turn yet again and see what the enemy does. And uh, that will be the basic of the episode. Yep, they've done exactly what I thought they'd be doing. So we got a bunch of forces in Suan Wan, all their air forces in Suan Wan, uh, and they've got their helicopter they've managed to move into uh, this area here. So it's a good thing that I moved back the Princess Pats. It gives us the blowpipes and the uh, M113 AD ADATs, actually. Actually, that had nothing to do with that, but they're, they're there now. So the Airborne Regiment, a lot of infantry, it looks like. Let's see where they're coming in from. Hmm. Lots and lots of infantry, it looks like. So that's pretty much it. Anyway, uh, this is the episode, I think. Looks like it's going okay for us. We should be able to hold out here. Anyway, I hope you found this enjoyable, and uh, as always, I hope to see you all next time.